What is up guys, Ram Hanawan here and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh number 53. In this episode we are once again on Dev Pro and we are going to be talking about future Dark Magician support because I have a very very strong feeling that Dark Magician support is around the corner. I have a feeling I know what it is and I also have ideas for why I think it is coming. So that's what we're going to be talking about here today. Okay, so I have two big clues as to why I think Dark Magician support is right around the corner. The first one is the blue eye support we just received. Now, although it's not a rule of thumb, we have always received blue eye support and Dark Magician support right next to each other. We have also received a new Dark Magician artwork and new Blue Eyes White Dragon artwork around the same time as each other. So, whenever there's a Blue Eyes or a Dark Magician, you can expect the other one to just be around the corner. That's one of the that's one of the reasons to why I think it's coming. And the other reason is because uh, before the Blue Eyes support was announced uh, quite some time back, there were two other cards announced. Uh, the first one was Legendary Dragon of White. Now this was just a card that clearly pointed towards Blue Eyes White Dragon. And the reason it pointed so clearly towards Blue Eyes was because it's an XYZ, it requires three level 8 monsters, it's a light dragon, uh, rank 8 obviously, 3000 attack, 2500 defense, just like Blue Eyes. And then it has one of those uh, weird effects where if it reduces life points to zero, uh, you win the match. Um, and it's not used, it can't, be, it can't be used in official duels, so it's one of those um, uh, like tournament winning cards, something like that. Uh, it actually includes in the Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG Extra Pack Sword of Night, so uh, this card is in there. And alongside that Legendary Dragon of White, and also in the uh, Extra Pack, Extra Swords, or whatever, the Sword of Knights, yeah, uh, there's another card, and that's called Legendary Magician of Dark. Now, this is very similar to the Legendary Dragon of White, but the clues for this card point towards the Dark Magician. And those clues are that it requires three level 7 monsters. Dark Magician is level 7. It's a dark spellcaster, so is Dark Magician. It's rank 7, obviously. 2500 attack and 2100 defense, just like Dark Magician. Now, both Legendary Dragon of White and Legendary Magician of Dark are pretty much exactly the same, except one reflects and is sort of attached to Blue Eyes, and the other one is attached to... Dark Magician, so they came out roughly the same time, or they were announced roughly the same time, they're coming out in the same pack, Blue Eyes Support is just announcing its own structure deck. I think all these clues and just um, the past repeating itself where Blue Eyes and Dark Magician were always announced and came out roughly the same time, I think this all points to a Dark Magician structure deck right after this, um, this Blue Eyes structure deck, so... Those are the reasons I think that Dark Magician support or structure deck or something along those lines are right around the corner. And we're probably going to get something very similar. We're probably going to get a level 8 synchro monster, which um, is probably going to be have a similar to the silver dragon, where it uh, requires a level 7 normal and one level 1 tuner. We'll probably get a level 1 tuner to go with Dark Magician as well. And I think this could be... A very good deck. I think they're going to be equally as uh, competitive with each other. The reason I think Dark, uh, the Blue Eyes deck is more competitive is obviously because the Blue Eyes are much stronger than the Dark Magicians. Dark Magicians have a lot more spell support and plus uh, level 1 tuners and level 7s can make other level 8s like Stardust, Scrap Dragon, uh, things along those lines. So I think they're equally going to be competitive with each other. But that is if the Dark Magicians come out. If they don't come out, they're not going to be competitive with the Blue Eyes. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that we're going to see Dark Magician support right around the corner? Do you think history is going to repeat itself? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like, rate, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Again, guys, this is Panda one and I'll see you all next time. Peace.